Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at a mini PC from a company called Morphine. This is the Morphine M6. Uh, they did send this to me free of charge, and I told them I'd just give my honest opinion about it. Uh, this has an Intel Alder Lake N200 chip, which has four cores and four threads. And nice thing about this little mini PC, it's not going to consume a whole lot of power. So let's get this out of the box and check it out. Now, mini PCs always spark my interest because I'm just amazed at how far they've come over the past few years. I mean, this thing is going to be no bigger than my iPhone. All right, now let's get this PC out of here. And yeah, it's very tiny, very sleek. Like I said, it's about the size of, you know, my iPhone, maybe the size of an external hard drive. It does have a built-in fan inside, which is very cool. And on the front here, we do have our power button, not much else. We have some uh, ventilation on the side, which is nice, allow air to flow through it. And actually ventilation on both sides. And we also have a vent on the bottom, and this is where you can access the hard drives. And we have plenty of connections here. We have our power, audio, Type-C, um, Ethernet, HDMI, and three USB ports. All right, let's see what else we're going to get in the box here. If I could just get this open. Okay, we're going to get our uh, USB-C power adapter. We're going to get our HDMI cable, which is nice that it includes that. And we're also going to get a mounting bracket along with a little manual here. You can get this in a couple of different configurations. Like I said, this has the N200 chip. It has 16 gigs of RAM and it has a 500 gig NVMe drive that already has Windows 11 pre-installed. You can purchase it with a larger hard drive up to two terabytes, which is nice. And there is room for an additional NVMe drive, um, which is also really nice. So you could definitely turn this into a mini uh, server for your home if you like. And here it is next to my Samsung Galaxy S21, just for a size comparison here. Okay, let's get this mini PC hooked up. I'm gonna hook this up to my portable monitor here. And I'm also gonna use this wireless keyboard that connects via a USB dongle. Uh, this is a great keyboard, by the way, I really like it. I'm just gonna test out Windows 11 a little bit. Um, then I'm probably gonna just try to play Fortnite just for fun, just to see if it'll run it. Uh, if I can get 30 frames per second out of Fortnite, uh, I would be amazed, but I'm just doing it for fun. Um, then I'm going to try some, you know, emulation on this as well. I think this will be really good for emulation, probably up to PS1, uh, Nintendo Wii probably as well. And there we go. We have Windows 11 doing its first boot. So this might take a few minutes. So I'm just going to fast forward some of this. All right, it started up Windows 11. I'm just going through the normal process for setup. I do apologize that the lighting is uh, a little poor in the room that I was shooting this. Okay, Windows 11 is up and running now. Everything looks good. All right, let's go into Task Manager. Got the N200 here, like I said. Uh, we got 16 gigs of memory. So now I'm going to try to play some YouTube videos. Then I'm going to run a Geekbench test just to see what kind of score we get. I downloaded Chrome. Now I have YouTube up and running. Let's try to watch a video right now. I'm going to bring up Big Buck Bunny. Now this will uh, display a 4K output. However, this is just a 1080p display I'm using right now. I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to tell uh, on through my camera, but this looks really good. I only got three drop frames in the beginning on 1080p. I can definitely see someone using this as a media PC. Okay. 
Okay, so video playback, no problem. Now I'm going to go ahead and download Geekbench 6 here. And the score we got is a single core score of 1064 and a multi-core score of 2074. This is definitely not made for gaming, but just for fun, I'm going to try to run Fortnite on this. Uh, then I'm going to try some emulation, which I think this will perform well with, at least up to, you know, PS1, maybe Nintendo Wii. So I got this on performance mode. I'm going to lock the FPS at 60, even though I don't even think I will get 60. I'll be lucky if I can get 30 FPS here. But like I said, I'm just really curious to see how this runs this game. So as you can see, it's a stuttery mess, getting a lot of freezes here and there. Uh, but the fact that this can even run this game is kind of impressive to me, you know, considering the size of this PC. Okay, now I'm going to cap the FPS at 30 and lower some of the settings to see if that'll help just a little bit. So the FPS is slightly better than before. Sometimes it does get up to 30 FPS, but you know, this definitely, again, is not made for gaming, but kind of cool that, again, this can actually run this game at all is impressive. Okay, now I have my Batisara hard drive uh, hooked in via USB port, and let's try some emulation, see how this does. Here's Aladdin on the Sega Genesis. So PS1 will work. Let's try PS2. I don't think it's going to work. We'll try something really hard right away. This is God of War 2.
So I don't have the FPS showing right now, but as you can see, it is laggy, almost like it's in slow motion a little bit. All right, now let's try a different game. Here's Mega Man, and it runs pretty good. This is an easier game to run. Guard of War 2 is very hard to run. And finally, for emulation, here's Nintendo Wii. I tried Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Uh, actually, not too bad. Sometimes it does dip below 60 FPS. Um, some stuttering here and there, but to me, I think this is playable. So the Morphine M6 is a great compact budget friendly PC that can handle everyday tasks and media consumption. Not really for gaming, but you can double this as a nice emulation PC if that's what you're looking for. If you are interested in checking it out, I'll have a link below. That's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.